Fallout 4 mods have been getting really good lately. Although we've been getting a plethora of those high quality weapon and armor mods, we also have begun seeing some content adding in fundamental new features into Fallout 4, including one mod that is starting to address one of the single largest fan complaints with Fallout 4, that being its lack of RPG elements. And trust me, this is one of those mods that may have a huge future ahead of it, as we are starting to see how modders are using AI to fix Fallout 4's largest issue. And it actually gets even better than that, because I'm not only going to fix your Fallout 4, but also your life. That is thanks to today's video sponsor, HelloFresh, who also fed me lunch today. With HelloFresh, you're going to get a knock at the door and a big box full of foods going to show up. The best part being, it comes with all of the various ingredients, so you don't have to brave the grocery store, and some super easy to follow instructions. If I can cook this, you definitely will be able to, I am particularly bad bad at cooking. And you know, I gotta say, I think my food came out looking pretty good here. And one of my favorite parts about HelloFresh is you can kind of force yourself to be healthy. Summer is very quickly approaching, but with HelloFresh, you're going to have over 40 weekly recipes to choose from, including some great options like Calorie Smart, Carb Smarter, even adding extra protein so you could really maximize those gains. And if you just want something a bit more fun, there are even some limited time seasonal recipes available right now. But since you watched this video, you're actually going to be able to get a deal here. Because if you use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and and use code POGJUICEMAR60, you're going to get 60% off and free shipping. And once you click, my description is going to live update to count up all of the purchases. But looking back at Fallout 4, the first mod we need to take a look at is Roleplayer's Expanded Dialogue, or RED. This mod will add in several hundred new dialogue options into Fallout 4 that is specifically designed to flesh out specific playstyles. Like if you just want to be a jerk all of the time, you'll have more options around that. You'll get that gun out of my face if you know what's good for you. Okay, okay, just take it easy. Easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Alternatively, if you want your character to be incredibly dumb. Nikki old. He kept her out of bubble. That's exactly what I was thinking. Or even just stronger than most of the other people in the Commonwealth. Now cough up your caps and hand them over. Just keep calm, all right? Here. That's everything I have. Because, yeah, your character often is more capable and stronger than others in the Commonwealth. This is going to be naturally integrated, so just while you're playing Fallout 4, doing some of the main or side content, new dialogue options will appear and the voice lines will also be added for this. So even if you pick some of the dumb dialogue, you'll actually be able to hear your character voice it. Max's son is so cool. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. The voice part of this mod is the pretty insane part, and it's a huge change we're seeing going on in modding right now. Voice AI has gotten really good as of late, and specifically what we're seeing here is the Eleven Labs AI for Fallout 4, as this is able to create totally custom voice lines that sound like they're being said by the typical Fallout 4 protagonist voice actor. Do I look like someone who you can extort for caps? Get lost before I get angry. Well, well hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now. Okay. Having to work around the voice protagonist in Fallout 4 modding, especially with quest mods, has been one of the biggest hurdles in the game, and we're finally getting around that. And with this in mind, this mod is really broken up into three types of new dialogue. You have the general new options for role-playing or just otherwise. I heard your radio transmission and wanted to help out. Really? In that case, let me ask you a few questions. Well, in that case, I'm up for hire. Good. Good me of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine. I don't enjoy killing, but when done righteously, it's just a chore, like any other. That's an acceptable answer. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. Sometimes when interacting with familiar NPCs, you'll have a completely new dialogue option. This should give you a bit more choice in a role-playing capacity, so you could be exactly who you want to be. And there's going to be quite a few of these in-game, mostly through the main stories or even your various romance options. But this mod goes way further than just that. Skill checks are properly reintegrated into Fallout 4. Chems pose a serious threat to your health. If you don't stop, you're going to suffer brain damage, strokes, and possibly even liver failure. All right, kid. You got me. If me hanging around for a little longer is worth that much to you. Instead of every skill check in Fallout 4 being based off of your charisma stat, now instead there's actually going to be checks for various things on your character. This will trigger off of specific things like having a specific perk or even having a special stat above or below a certain threshold. You deserve so much better than this fat bastard, Darla. Maybe we could get rid of him. What do you say? Wow. You're... you're a bad boy, ain't you? but also based off things like if you're wearing power armor or not. Hand over the caps, or you will find out what this suit can do. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. This ain't my first mugging. 
And the way this is implemented is pretty cool as it hooks into the vanilla skill check system. So it's not going to totally replace the charisma based options for passing through skill checks, but instead it's going to give you an alternative. You can intimidate somebody by just having very high charisma or alternatively by having very high strength or maybe even just because you're wearing power armor. This being pretty nice because it doesn't devalue charisma in Fallout 4, but it does integrate a lot of really cool moments in Fallout 4 based around your specific character and how you're building them. And then lastly, the other major re-addition from a past Fallout game is now Fallout 4 has low IQ dialogue. I help, but you tell info now. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Dead robots good? Negative. There's nothing good about it. Look at the evidence. Maybe Doggy can sniff? Say, that's not a bad idea. Now, all throughout the game, if you have an intelligence under four, you're going to have some new and very specific types of responses that will pop up all the time in dialogue. These new low intelligence options are pretty consistently hilarious, but as I mentioned a bit earlier, there are several hundred new dialogue options added with this mod. I'm really only showing you a small segment of them, and they're nicely sprinkled all throughout the game, including with some of your romance options, but also things like the DLCs of the game. Several of the main quests will have them, but also a bunch of side quests, and even just the general random NPC you stumble upon may have a new unique interaction now. And this new 11 Labs AI opens up some pretty wild possibilities for Fallout 4. You have options to not only revoice the protagonist, but potentially some of the other NPCs as well. So in the future, it definitely seems like it'll be possible to have new and unique interactions with familiar characters without having to get custom voice actors. But instead, perhaps some kind of alternate ending with Preston, or maybe even a new way to beat Fallout 4 by destroying the Minutemen. There are already mods that do a lot of this by reusing using some of the other voice lines in the game, but we could see some pretty crazy custom content as a result of all of this, and one mod's already doing it. The Fen's Sheriff's Department is the single largest mod to ever come to Fallout 4, and it just got an official update, making it so you can actually talk during the mod. What's the story with the Sheriff? The Sheriff, huh? Well, I first met her over a decade ago. Typically with these large DLC sized mods, getting the voiced protagonist to actually function is a difficult part because of course you have to work around the existing voice lines. So in release, the Fen's Sheriff's Department didn't actually have a voiced protagonist. You would just sit there silently like how it worked in past Fallout games. But now thanks to this new AI tool, the mod is entirely voiced and you can actually hear yourself speaking all throughout it. This sounds really good. It really doesn't take you out of the game at all. And for people who love the voice protagonist, this is a huge addition. When I'm speculating over the potential that the future could hold for Fallout 4 with mods like this is exciting, it's actually not the only overhaul the game got as of late. As we also do have Shield Framework and the Shield Integration Project. Shield Framework will add in a fully functional ballistic shield into Fallout 4. And this too isn't haphazardly done. This thing works properly. This will block incoming melee and laser attacks as well as bullets to some degree, as long as it's below the damage threshold. This isn't going to be one of those mods where all incoming damage is just magically blocked when you have the shield out. You actually have to block the attack. The shields are actually modeled and shaped and if an enemy gets to your side or behind you, they will be able to damage you. If you're able to melee attack with the shield, there's a basic attack and a heavier attack, and this can be pretty hilarious, just blocking all of the incoming shots because the enemies are using low caliber weapons and running up to them and beating them down with your giant shield. Although it does have a damage threshold, so high tier enemies will be able to pierce things, at least some of them. So if an enemy targets the glass on the shield or even are just using a high caliber bullet dealing a lot of damage, it'll actually pierce through somewhat and get damage to you and the shield integration project takes this to the next level. This is going to implement several additional shield variants, which are pretty cool. Each of these have their own unique style, but far more importantly, it's going to allow enemies to spawn with these shields, and of course, use those shields against you in combat. The same rules will apply here. Enemies are going to block most of your oncoming attacks with their shield, but if you use a higher caliber bullet or just kind of get around the shield, you'll be able to damage them. Overall, it's a really cool mod that changes up combat encounters in a fun and interesting interesting way, actually making some of those enemies have a unique challenge now compared to what you have in vanilla Fallout 4. And it's also pretty nice that this is a feature that is completely usable by you and enemies alike. Or if you want a more all-encompassing shield, we do have Bastion, which is going to be a new Soviet-style power armor for Fallout 4. And for me, it takes the cake as being one of the best power armor designs we've seen come out of modding in a very long time. This thing just looks epic. The mod itself is pretty simple. It's going to be a gorgeous new power armor that is 
integrated with a new location that you largely just go to and can pick up the power armor at. And from there, the power armor has a wide array of texture options, so you can get several different styles out of it. Of course, many of these being heavily inspired by Soviet themes or designs. And overall, this is just one of those mods that I personally think looks great. There's a lot of power armor mods out there right now, and it's going to become pretty subjective over if you want this one or something else. But I think just in general, both thematically from a lore perspective, it makes sense to appear in Fallout 4, and again, just looks really good. But maybe you want to make your Fallout 4 overall look a bit different. If that's the case, you can check out this video where I cover some of the massive several hundred mod mod lists that you could download with basically just one click. Some of these are pretty wild and will almost certainly inspire you to start a new playthrough. 